In Japanese Hinduism, there is this thing called the Deva of Bliss, which is represented by two elephants embracing each other. It's meant to signify the unity of opposites. And he killed her with a porcelain fucking elephant. No peace, no unity, no thought. Just unbridled rage. I think about it a, a lot. That, and the symbolism in our everyday. Making things more poetic often makes them more bearable. Do you ever do that? Oh. <laughs> That's why you're a writer. That's more than fair. You know, most of our occupation choices are meant to subdue the rough edges of life. I like being mindless, just sketching and calculating all day. I can drown myself in it. It's the only time that I feel like I can get away from... from that smell. I've never gotten over that godforsaken smell. No matter how many candles or air fresheners. I was hesitant to do this. I mean, I still am, but... Well, thank you for coming with me and helping me face this. To move on, once and for all, you know, just put it all behind me. Banish whatever it is that is hanging around that place. I've not been able to get any sleep. My brain just keeps... reliving the last time I saw her. Them. It's torture. Well, I'm very lucky to have met you. I look forward to spending more time with you once this is, you know, all over. You seem like a really incredible person. You want to go up first this time? Okay. I'll... I'll hold the supplies and all that. God, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. All right, let me pass this up to you. Hold on. All right, here I come. I'm glad to see those dolls are gone, but... worried about how they managed to disappear. I don't like this. So, candles, and a notebook, and pen? Okay, what do we do? Hmm. Walk in a circle three times clockwise, and then three counterclockwise. Okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> I'm glad at least one of us knows what they're doing. Okay. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. Duh! I'll, I'll be fine. Just give me a minute. Whew. Okay, so, uh, what do we do? Where did you get this spell? You Googled it? Oh, the internet is a vast and peculiar place. Hmm. Well, it's worth a shot, I guess. So, so, what is that notebook for? For it to... communicate with us. Like, like it's gonna pick up that pen and give us a haiku? Sorry, I... I, I might make jokes when I'm nervous. I, you could even classify that as a joke. I'm just trying to lighten the mood, you know? So, we say it together then. All right. We invoke ye spirits, east to west, 
To speak what keeps you from eternal rest. To rid your life what pain was caused, and give you freedom once and for all. Speak to us your darkest fears, and tell us what keeps you haunting here. It's, it's writing. Paper. Oh my god, the paper is bleeding? It's, it's my name. Why, why is it writing my name over and over again? The attic door. It just locked from the outside. Help! 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 Wait. What are you doing? Why are you backing away from me? Hey, I I'm not the reason the house is haunted. Are you kidding me? I'm your friend. I I'm just as scared as you are. After I house you and helped you open that door? After I come here to do a fucking seance and you... <laughs> I knew from the moment I first laid eyes on you that you were different. Your smile... The way you addressed me. The way you leaned against that moving truck, giggling and teasing me. You gave me your card because you wanted me to know you were a serious and passionate individual. Career focused. Someone to keep around. You didn't just do it because you wanted me to have a way to contact you. You wanted me to know. You thought I was a nice guy. You've got such a pretty name. You know that, right? A very pretty name. A name you weren't very private about. It was easy to learn all sorts of things about you. Your, your age. Your family. The high school you went to. Your first boyfriend, all out there for the world to see. We live in a digital age. You've got to be careful about what you post online. You know, I just didn't expect you to fall for me that easily. I saw it in your eyes. Those mundane moments where you looked at me and the world just melted away. For just a moment there were no ghosts or shifting chests or children crying and I was so happy. I practically cried myself to sleep each night out of joy because you, you're different. I mean, you have to be. I can sense it in you. We were gonna be together, you and I, but now, now, now you're afraid. Afraid of who I might be or what I might be. Maybe you should be. No! No, 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 I won't let go because I need you to listen to me. I need you to understand because above all things I am a lover and I did what I did for love I have no remorse for what happened I'm just sorry she's trapped here that's why I came in the first place I want her to be able to move on I want I wanted more than anything for her to Will you promise to listen? I'll let go if you do. Okay. Here's the truth.